Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. On Friday, I'm talking about an update to the OPM, or Office of Personnel Management, breach story. You probably remember in last week's weekly video, I talked about the big breach to OPM, where bad guys made off with over 4 million records for federal civilian employees. This week, there's new news showing that the breach is probably bigger than suspected. Basically, the president of the union that represents federal workers wrote a letter mentioning how bad the breach was. Now apparently they believe anywhere from 9 to 14 million uh, employee records that date back all the way to the 1980s may have been stolen. More importantly, I mentioned that the bad guys did make off with social security numbers, and it turns out these were unencrypted social security numbers, which is just a horrible security practice, storing such sensitive data in an unencrypted fashion. So these bad guys really do have all the personally identifiable information on all of these employees, which is really bad news. Also, there's a motherboard story where a criminal seeming hacker has claimed responsibility for the OPM breach. He goes by the silly alias Ebola Bad, and on the underground he posted 23,000 email addresses for .mail and .government employees. And while some of these emails do look legitimate, there really is nothing that ties it to the OPM breach. You know, there's a good chance this uh, attacker is just social engineering and using this breach breach to claim a little bit of cred. In either case, the fact that uh, the government is attributing this to China really hasn't been validated yet. Finally, the practical takeaways. Obviously, if you're a federal employee or anyone really that has had your personal information stolen from an online account, you definitely do want to monitor your credit, and the U.S. government is offering free uh, credit monitoring for 18 months. However, this is really insufficient protection. This will tell you when somebody's opening accounts under your name, but one of the big takeaways here is whenever someone steals all this information, especially your social security number, your email addresses, your address, all kinds of personal information about you, it's a great opportunity for these bad actors to actually hijack many of your online accounts. If you think about the forgot my password mechanisms or the, the phone mechanisms where you can call up a company and validate yourself to say your bank online by using your social security number, now these bad guys can do the same. They can use this information to hijack many different accounts. So really, if someone steals your personal information, it's a good idea to monitor all your online accounts. You may even want to call up very important accounts like your bank and tell them to lock the account, not to allow people to do anything over the phone or online, but only in person in the bank. In any case, it's a very interesting attack and we'll continue to keep our eyes on it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.